Hi, so today I'm going to be going over a board that does not see the hard drive. So this motherboard will work just fine if I use a USB caddy or a USB interface for the drive, but it won't work when I actually have the drive plugged in. Now, one of the things you may be thinking is, did you check the hard drive cable? And if you work on Apple products, you're very well aware that they are the only laptops on earth where you have to replace the hard drive cable because for no reason it will fail. Now, most of the time when it fails, it won't actually fail where it doesn't see the drive. It'll fail where it works just enough, but it will corrupt in a manner where it corrupts going back and forth and just makes data transfer slow as hell. Uh, also, one of the things to note is I haven't put the SSDs in this new video machine yet, so the video audio sync is most likely going to go out. And when it does, I will be putting text up here in the YouTube annotations to explain everything as I go. So, let's go over this. Now again, this very, very rarely happens where you actually try a new hard drive cable and a new drive and it still doesn't work. So this is an 820-3115 board. So let's just get this open up here. Alright, so, so this is an 820-3115 board, so I am going to get this uh, open up here. Now, first thing I want to do is look for the actual hard drive connector. Okay, so that is it. right on the bottom left here, it says J4501. So in this board view software, J actually means, uh, you know, like a connector of some kind. So J4501. I know I'm probably going to get 90,000 requests in the comments. Where do I find schematics? And motherfuckers, and. You see that right there? Like, it, 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 it's, it's in plain English. Anyway, yeah, I'll, even, I'll even zoom in for you, but most of you people are probably going to ignore it anyway. All right, anyway, so. Okay, J4501. So this is the SATA connector right here. See this thing? SATA connector. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's go on the screen. And believe it or not, people are still going to ask me where I get the fucking schematics. But anyway, so see right over here? We have, the, we have this connector. Now, oh, look at this. Critical. Capital letters. Critical. See? See that? It's telling me that this is important. So let's see what that is. PP5VSOHDD. What does this mean? This means that when the computer is on, because SO is a power state, SO means on. So when the computer is on, 5 volts will go to the hard drive. So let's look at what happens here. So it goes through this inductor, and then from the inductor, it goes to the connector. Gee, that says critical. Let's see what happens when I search for L4500 on my board view. So when I search for L4500 on my board view, it says that it should be right over here. Okay. Now let's see what that looks like on my motherboard. So, L4500 is right here. Now, let's see, we're going to take a look and see what that looks like on my actual board. Ah, oh, I can't wait till I can have a cameraman's. One of these days I'm going to get a fucking cameraman for these videos. So, let's go over here and see what that looks like. So we're going to flip the board around, and this is L4500, and when I go to L4500, I see, oh my god. Yeah, so you guys see that? So... Let's remove that thing because that is disgusting. First things first, I'm going to put my fan on because I don't want to inhale a bunch of solder. Let's just get some fresh solder on there. Okay. And remove this crap.
Okay. Okay, so it's at this probe point right here. This probe point, which is going to go to there. Now, unfortunately, I have a hole in my PC board there where I'm supposed to have a solder pad. So here, just to give you a little bit of a zoomed idea. So this here is my inductor. This here, cameraman, professional cameraman. Anybody want to volunteer? I'm taking interns in. I'm starting now. And so this here is the side that is going to the hard drive. This here is PP5ESO that's coming from the 5 volt rail of the computer. This is the probe point that I can actually grab that 5 volts from. So I put my inductor sideways so that I would avoid the scorched earth section of the PCB. Now I'm going to run a wire from here to there after scratching this off a little bit so that I actually have that 5 volts to go to the drive. Again, accepting applications for cameramen, interns, or camera women, not to uh, be unfair. Starting immediately, because this is just getting annoying. All right, so we take Now I take my jumper wire, which is an LVDS cable from an A1226 MacBook Pro. For those of you who've been following the channel, you know that I usually use an LVDS cable from a 15-inch A1150 MacBook Pro. But I ran out, so look, I upgraded. See? LED backlit. All right. Just a couple of strands together. I'm fairly certain that liquid blew that up and that it was not the drive cable. But you never know. Not to mention this is actually for a YouTube video. So if anything were to go wrong for any reason, it would be now. That is how the world works. Doing this is kind of like being a dentist. Like you have all the optical drive cable, Wi-Fi cable, speaker cable, camera cable. It's like, ah. I don't feel like an electronics technician at all when I'm doing this. I feel like a damn dentist. Prying your tongue back so that he can yank at your wisdom teeth. Which I need to have removed, by the way. I am a sissy when it comes to any type of surgery, though. Just total, utter sissy. I don't mind walking home in a crappy neighborhood at 1 in the morning, wearing Dockers, Calvin Klein, carrying a $1,000 laptop without a case or anything like that. I don't care. I don't care if people yell or scream. I don't care if I go running through the bad neighborhood at nasty times of night, but... Dude, surgery? Or like the... No. Needle? No. No. I guess part of the fear is that people are going to be making the decisions inside of my body that I make inside of these machines. Like, I don't want somebody just saying, oh, the PC board is, coro is like nasty here. I'm just going to scrape away a via and run a little wire from an LCD cable. Like, no, get the fuck out of here with that shit. No, no. Okay. Let's turn it on and see if we get sparks and fire. Oh boy, it doesn't smell like smoke. That is promising. 
the drive is spinning, that is promising. This is a mechanical hard drive, so it is going to take a second before I can show you that it's booting. Use an SSD long enough in every d computer you use with a mechanical drive. It's not even that it's slow, it just it feels broken. You know, like, I mean, I click the web browser, why isn't it open? Why isn't it open? Why isn't it? Oh, here it is. It takes three seconds to open because you have a mechanical hard drive. Ugh. All right, so I, there's an apple here, which means that the operating system is loading, which means the drive is powered, which means what I did just worked. And again, please don't ask me where to get schematics. I mean, like, I, I, I zoomed in. Come on. And don't ask me where I get the program. It's like, I, I zoomed in. I did my job. I'm done. Use Google. And hopefully you learned something, and hopefully this video has helped you along with the rest of the series to show you just how simple and easy this is if you just follow along and use your brain. It's not rocket science.